ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. We have this fella who's kind of hanging out, wondering what we're doing. He's got a fat neck like me. Hmm. Okay, so what we've realized after all of this time, all this time, the river flows. Um, I really, do I own that field? Hang on, let me look at my map. Map. Oh, I do. Somehow I was like totally missing this field over here that I own. Um, I realize that I don't need, um, this, one of these cultivators. I have three cultivators, and as I talked about in the last episode, I've been cultivating and then rolling and then, you know, cultivating, liming, and then rolling. Really, you just need to cultivate and then lime and then seed. So I'm going to sell, uh, probably the roller. This thing's worth a lot more, but I like the way this one operates, and this is really, you know, a good machine cultivator. So let's go ahead and hop in the tractor. And, uh, I'm stuck on something. Oh, I've got a weight in front of me. Durr. Yeah. Whoa! Durr. All that pent-up energy. So let's go ahead and cultivate this field over here, uh, and then we'll just climb right over that. Not what I meant to do. Poor Noopy. Seth has got the flu. He's not feeling... Is your tummy hurting now, Lolly? Because that's because you ate pizza. I know you're really hungry. I'm just going to make your tummy hurt. Poor Lolly. Try to go to sleep, bubs. Alright, so we're going to... Just get these done. <clears throat> I know I promised I'd do them while I watched Adventure Zone, but Mark has failed me as a son. <laughs> he's been busy hanging out with his girlfriend and not... And then also working. To his credit, he's been working his butt off at work. So it's not really his fault. He's got. He's had... Uh, he's taking uh, a six-week or eight-week course at Liberty University. And then... He's also, you know, got his girlfriend home, and then he's working full-time at a new job. So he's he's really, really busy. Like, he's just stressed out and super busy. What's that, Soup? And tired, right. So he's really not been in the mood. He gets home, and he's got to go right to bed. He's like, I'm like, you want to watch The Adventure Zone? And he, or listen to The Adventure Zone? He's like, nope, i got to go to bed. Like, tonight, same thing. He'll, so, anyway, we haven't really done any of our normal uh, hanging out and listening which means that we haven't really been... That means I haven't been playing my games that I play whilst he's doing that, so... See, right, what I'm doing right now is cleaning up this field end that I've damaged with the plow so that it's a little bit easier for the harvester to work. And also, when I'm liming, I don't want to get stuck because, you know, obviously you go through that stuff pretty quick and... All right. The ground's nice and flat, so now we can go ahead and... Start our cultivation. We'll clean up on the other end, too. And I just use my Tempestat set at 1. Once again, in real life, you probably just want Tempestat 1 for cultivation. Um, you don't really want to go 10 kilometers, and I was actually a little on the fast side for cultivating a field. There goes. Seth goes into the bathroom. Uh-oh. You okay, Lal? He's like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little graphic. <laughs> I don't mean like graphic design. So we'll clean up this field end too while we're down here. I gotta do, I gotta go out a little further because obviously it reaches out almost to the neighbor's house. Boink. Boink, boink. Oh. Um, I did, unbeknownst to me and my foolishness, um, they actually released a DLC a couple months ago that has a new farm uh, that doesn't have any animals or fruit. 
So it looks kind of difficult, but what it does have that's a little bit different is that it has um, a, uh, a barn that you have to build. So at some point we'll try that challenge out and see if we can make it. Um, but you have all the materials and you need to, to put the... You need to repair the barn. Uh, it looks pretty cool. And then it also has, like, I guess it rains real hard on that map and gets real muddy. Uh, so they give you, they've given us some new equipment in the game that I completely missed, uh, including a pickup truck, which is one thing that I always complain about not having. And then they also gave us a new tow bar. So eventually, I think after next year's harvest, because we're pretty low on cash right now, but after the, the first vegetable harvest, we're going to buy a pickup truck for the farm because I've been wanting one of those, and it, it would definitely make getting to the agricultural store a lot easier to be able to fly around in a pickup truck. So we do have a pickup truck. I'd be surprised if it goes over 40 kilometers an hour, but maybe it will. But even so, it's nice to have a, a regular vehicle rather than a tractor. I feel bad for this game. It really just, like we were looking at the ratings on Steam, and it's like a, a solid thumbs down. People just hate this game, and I, I don't... I don't see it. I mean, maybe I'm just a dork or just a, just not connected with reality. But this game, I love it. And, and I tell you, and you know, I'm a huge farm sim fan. You guys know that. I'm a fanboy when it comes to farm sim and giant stuff. And I'm super excited about the new DLC that's coming out in November. They're talking about the expansion pack. They're going to be doing a, uh, you know, South America, and they're adding sugarcane in, and they're adding a whole bunch of new brands into farm sim. Uh, including bison, which I thought was cool. We're going to have some bison harvesters and uh, just, just a bunch of new stuff from Europe and all over the world. Um, I think maybe I saw my hinder in there. The one thing that made me sad, though, was it looks like they they're maybe the Kubota thing was not real. It might have been a rumor. Or it might have been falsified. We'll see. Um, maybe it'll be a summer DLC for, like, you know, October. But... I, I am a little disappointed that, um... Oh, look at that. Do you remember the last time I had the food and I kept dry heaving? Yeah. So. That's what you're doing now? Uh, Poor Lally. Uh, so anyway, they have that, um... Or they may have that coming out still um, in summer, at the end of summer. I'm hoping that that's the case, but it doesn't look like it because they're already announcing this new, you know, DLC slash expansion. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, but, you know, hopefully we'll get our, our, uh, we'll get our Kubota tractors, but we'll see. Like I said, there there's no, no promises on from Giants on that. Um, but this game... Uh, once again, this is the 2017 edition. It seems like with Farm Expert, they come out with a new one every year. So I would imagine um, that within the next, you know, eight to ten weeks, we should be seeing a new edition of this game coming out. Which means, obviously, we'll start that when that comes out. Uh, but every year, you know, the developer seems to come out with a new one, and then he he kind of fixes a lot of the bugs that were in this version. So, like in this version of the game, unfortunately. Like Micah bought a copy. The the game right now, and by the see, by the time you see this video, uh, it probably will not be the case. But I'll I'll try to release this in the next day or two, so it's still the case. But until July fifth, this game is half or sixty percent off with the DLC. So it ends up being like eight bucks. Uh, if you haven't gotten it and you've been kind of thinking about it, um, you know this would be your time to get it. But once again, I just want to put it out there that. Uh, this game uh, does have some pretty hefty requirements when it comes to computer. Um, it, it, you know, even on, I'm running on my, um, you know, four-core uh, i5 660K processor, which is a pretty decent gaming computer, uh, gaming processor, and I have an, an, a, an AMD R9 390 video card with 8 gigs of RAM, and I'm barely pulling 42 frames a second. I know other people have... Had, like, on my laptop, I have to turn everything down, and it's still pretty stuttery. Like, it does not play well on my laptop. So just be aware that you have to have a pretty beefy computer to run this uh, smoothly. So uh, it's not a, a good game if you have an older computer. But if you have a up-to-date computer and you're into, you know, the farm sim type games and uh, you think it can handle, you know, like I say this, if you're playing Grand Theft Auto and you're running it with, like, you know, 60 frames a second with everything turned up all the way, uh, you probably can play this no problem. But if you have a computer that's not up to that spec, 
you're going to have probably some frame rate issues. Um, anyway, Micah bought a copy for his laptop, and it's been running okay. He's got a he's got the uh, Alienware with the expansion video card. Uh, it's a 1070 NVIDIA card in the in the expansion card, and then it, he has a Core i7 laptop. So that actually does run it also. Uh, but I just wanted to put that out there it, that Micah did get it. We tested out the multiplayer. We did everything that they said on the site to make it work, and um, unfortunately, we were just not able to get multiplayer working at all. It didn't work even in the least, so um, it's just not functional at this point. And I'm hoping that for the next version they fix that. We'll have to see. Um, this game has been um, just on the edge of greatness for many years. It's had a lot of bugs and stuff, but that, and I think that's why people give it such bad reviews. You know, bad performance bad bugs equals unhappy people um, but I really feel like it's a, it can't it has the potential to be a great game so hopefully they'll they'll get some of that stuff straightened out for the next version hang on one second yes Seth what's that well then you need to go either like wrap up in blankets or go lay in a room where they're closed honey but I, I need the air coming in you could hear the train going through my backyard there So uh, anyway, this um, you could turn the fan off, Seth, the ceiling fan. Um, anyway, where were we? Um, oh, I probably should have put it down after I had lowered it. There we go. Now, I didn't do this field. This was done by the computer. I just bought these fields, these three fields here, so um, I shouldn't have to do too much cleanup on the ends. We should be able to just go ahead and cultivate them and be done with it. Uh, but I would really like to see this game improve, you know, and I think that they probably, with, with each iteration, it seems like he fixes some of the problems with it. So we see, you know, updates and fixes come out for each new version. And uh, so hopefully that will be the case you know, with upcoming versions, <laughs> with the 18 version, like maybe they'll fix the multiplayer or maybe the implements will get dirty. They just, they keep improving the game. Usually what the guy does is they'll, they'll support the, it's actually, I think just one person or maybe like one, like five people that do the program. It's a really small company that does this game. So um, they don't have the support that, you know, like big companies have, but it seems like they, they release a game, they'll support it for six months at the end of the six months they'll release a dlc and support that for a couple more weeks and it's usually a free dlc like all the ones that have come out in the the three versions that i've played have been free uh and then once they do that then they they drop support for this game and any requests that come in for this or that they just say hey wait, wait for the next version uh and then the next version comes out so um is it you know some people might complain and say well, that sucks that you have to buy a new copy every year. But to be honest with you, the entire game is only $15 at full price. And it usually comes out on sale. So when it came out, uh, when this one came out last year, I got it for like 12 bucks. I mean, honestly, if I got to pay $12 a year for this, it's cheaper than, it's still cheaper than Giants and having to pay, you know, $40 every two years. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's really, they do, you know, it's obviously a, a yearly pay to play fee but it's really not that expensive at 12 bucks <laughs> i mean heck it cost me 11 dollars to get lunch and a and a diet frosty at chick-fil-a so um you know it's just it's one of those things you know it's really not that expensive all things considered so um you know i i think it's worth the the price of admission though um as long as you have a good computer once again and you can deal with the bugs i mean if you're willing to put up with bugs uh, the game is definitely, you know, a pretty cool game. And I love the, the deformable terrain and that kind of stuff. And These tractors definitely look like real tractors look like when they're working in the mud. Uh, Giant's dirt always looks a little funky. Uh, so anyway, they're just, they do some things better. Obviously the terrain around, the surrounding graphics and stuff are a little bit goofy. Uh, kind of wireframe-y looking, I don't know. But in general, it's a pretty good looking good running game so what's up lol what lolly like what I, I don't even know what to give you 
there's really nothing you can take for flu. Are you? Do you have chills? Well, I'll tell Ryan to pick something. So oh, he can't because he's got the kids. Um, I, there's really nothing you can take, Seth. You're just gonna have to kind of suffer through it. Yes. I know it's because you got the flu. Just try to go to sleep, honey. You're too cold. You want me to turn the fan off? <laughs> Poor Seth. I'm going to turn the ceiling fan off, folks. So hang on for just one minute. Once I get done with this strip here, we're going to pause the game or the recording for a second. I will be right back. Oh, one of the things I'm going to start doing too, folks, is I'm changing the time scale to six uh, because it the fields are small enough that I feel like we never get past like one day at a time. So I want to actually make it so that I actually have to, you know, there's a little bit of a time challenge to get everything done. Um, that way we're, you know, we're working against the clock. And, then, you know, right now it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Actually, it's almost 5 o'clock game time. And, you know, we're, we're going to just move the clock forward at time 6. So, because um, in real life, you know, it takes them a couple days to prep their fields. So at nighttime we're not going to work. During the daytime we are going to work. But uh, in this farm right now it is... You know, it's very quickly moving towards evening. Legend of Zelda time. Well, not quite that fast, but I was running it at, at uh, 2x, I think, or 4x maybe. But now we're running at 6x. And you can see there, we've already, just in the time to go down this field, it took four minutes to go down. And that's cool, because I think that that's a little bit more realistic. Um, it'll make us take a couple days to do the planting instead of it just taking one day. Which also makes it a little bit more um, nerve-wracking at the end of the year that we have to kind of rush and get everything done. Each field takes about an hour then, I think. Or maybe like half an hour. Which still probably isn't like totally realistic. <laughs> but now I feel like we have more realistic farm you know like what a what a real farm has as far as um you know uh, acreage like I, I really it's still pretty small but i think we have maybe like 10 15 acres of, of field now maybe more uh, we'll take a look and see but it might be like like 15 or 20 acres um so it's like a small a good small farm you know And eventually we'll own the entire map. Because we're just that good. You okay, Soup? Poor Lally. Now, we have a power takeoff on the back of this cultivator. Um, so I wonder at some point if you maybe could attach like a cedar on the back. Though this game doesn't probably support multiple rear attachments, but you can see there, there's a PTO on the back of this cultivator. So maybe some point we'll be able to do multiples like Farm Sim where we have a cultivator and a... Because this is that same kind of cultivator that we have with the Coon. Um, you know, in the in our, our DLC pack, they have a Coon that does the same thing with the, the beaters. And then you have the cedar that goes on the back of that. So in Farm Sim. Farming Simulator. Two more fields. Yay. We'll probably make this a one. Actually, we're going to be breaking. We'll be breaking here in about four minutes for an episode end. Maybe 15, eh, seven minutes about. So once we have these cultivated, um... I'll be able to put the lime down on those three, on these three or four fields, and we shall be all set and ready to plant. Maybe on the tenth. I almost want to wait till the last day of September to plant, but I don't think it really matters because whatever starts growing is going to go into um, what do you call it, uh, like hibernation. So. And I think that last field is already cultivated, so let's go ahead and finish this field up, and then we'll 
take a look down there and see what's going on, but I think that that one's already done, so... We're moving on to 5.30 here. Five twenty. The other thing we need to do is to check the information, so I'm gonna go ahead and gonna lower this. You doing okay, Loop? You feeling a little bit warmer now that I turned that fan off? Good. I know. Just try to relax. Your little tummy hurts. Man, I hate having the flu. I hate it when my stomach hurts. I mean, well... Back it up here. This is a pretty large field. We can take a look at the information by doing, I think, is it F3? Nope. Um, F2, I think. Let's see here. No, it's only one at one hec one hect acre. Now I wonder if that's like one hectare or hec. Not acre, he hector. I wonder if a hector is the same as an acre, or if it's smaller or larger. I don't know. If only, I, if only I could get a giant plow that does it this quick. <laughs> Jeez, it's saying overcast on the thing. This doesn't look very overcast to me. nice and sunny. Or like maybe hazy? I don't know. Partly cloudy. Now the one thing I did not invest in was a weather station, so I have no idea what the weather is going to be like over the next couple days, but I think it doesn't, aside from getting stuck, it doesn't really matter. Um, You know, maybe as we seed, we're going to need to... I'll be sorry. I'll be sorry I didn't know what the weather was. It's stuck. There's a little birdie over there on the field. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this super exciting cultivation episode of Farm Expert. 2017 as we wind down here on year five it really is getting close to coming to an end and uh, i'm just going to try to get these fields cultivated before the sun sets today and um then that way maybe even get the finish finishing the liming but we'll see i might have to do that tomorrow and then uh, we'll start planting the fields and getting them ready for next year because we have obviously uh, uh we're going to do our winter wheat and uh, get some straw in the spring or mid, like early summer, and then get a second crop growing of uh, summer wheat. So, anyway, guys, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you on the next exciting episode of Farm Expert.